Hi there, this is Max, Computers to the Max. What we have here are hard drives. Imagine a filing cabinet where all your files are stored. This is what they look like. On the left is a laptop hard drive, 2.5 inch. On the right is a desktop hard drive, 3.5 inch. Now these drives work by means of a spinning disk. This one's dead. I've taken the screws out. You would never normally do this. But in effect, this is what would be inside your drive if you were to do it. The reason why you don't do it is if any dirt, contaminants, oil, residue from your fingertips, um, anything, moisture would actually damage the drive quite badly. Now it's spinning around at 5,400 or 7,200 RPM, in effect grabbing your data off as quickly as it can. Energy efficient or storage hard drives will not spin, uh, spin so fast but in effect you will then get a slower drive for taking your data off. Now if you were to drop this drive a bit like a record player you'll get scratches on it, you could damage the bearing. This is a single platter some of them will have three or four platters in there so in a hard drive that's what you'd be expected to see. If you were to look at your data you can see it on um, a computer and you can find out data that's been lost, recovered etc but part of determining whether the drive has failed, we run a system test. Now this is one currently on the go. It's currently got 13 minutes left. It's been on the go for 30 minutes already. It's only a small drive. But this is a good example of how you can determine if the drive is faulty. The other thing is data recovery. I can't show you this right now, but data recovery, I use some pretty high-end programs to go back to previous times. Even when data is corrupted, we can then retrieve it. Now looking after your computer, looking after your data, this is why it's important. Do not drop your laptop, do not drop your desktop, um, power problems, all sorts of things, but generally wear and tear can fail as well. So running that system test we can then determine if your drive is going to be able to handle um, a reinstall of the operating system or whether it's worth repairing or replacing the drive. Now over here you will see this is your data integrity. This is a program running just to help a customer remove all of their data off this drive. They're going to be selling their computer, their laptop. They don't want any of their private data to be transferred to the next person. And they can use programs similar to the ones I use. You can pick them up off the internet. Um, but in effect, you can go back to previous data that's been deleted even. When you delete something, it's not removed it is in effect just moved to one side. It's, it's still on the drive. So this is what we call a single pass. It writes zeros on all of the data. So it's a fairly good way of just cleaning or scrubbing your drive. So if you're ever selling your computer, just ask. Make sure that you kind of follow the guidelines of making sure your data is not passed on. If you're donating the computer to a a charity or a firm that's involved in helping um, other countries then make sure that you don't give them your personal data. Bear in mind it can go back as long as you've had the drive. Thank you for watching.